Notts County talk, instant reaction, it's finished. Notts County 2, Kingsland 2 in a thoroughly disappointing game in which actually Notts were lucky not to actually lose. Credit to Kingsland, they came like they had nothing to lose, um, dominated, missed a lot of key chances before Notts uh, got their two goals unexpectedly. Um, and if you come in here expecting me to be really upbeat and positive about that, that we've, we've gained a point on Torquay, it's just not like that, is it? We've lost points on Sutton. We've... Uh, We've not really gained points on anyone, to be fair. It's it's a very, very disappointing result. One in which the defence looked absolutely disastrous, looked void of confidence for no apparent reason, just just weren't good at all. The amount of chances we gave up to Kingsley. And let's let's be let's be realistic here. And if you're a Kingsley fan watching this, I'm sorry. Not should be winning that game three or four nil. Because it's okay to say this league is a difficult league. There will be some difficult games in this league. We've seen that. We've seen that there are a number of difficult games in this division. But if you're going to win the league, there will be some teams you will just blow away and win 3 4 nil. We've seen it. We've seen it with Torquay up there. They've won some of their games by a, a big margin. And if you're going to win, unfortunately for the, the opposition, there's going to be some teams that you just blow away. And in two games against Kings Lane, a side that are struggling at the minute off the pitch, let's, let's be honest, they're not one of the, the bigger teams in the division. They're one of the favourites to go down. Not should be winning that at least one of those games comfortably, and in both games we've not dominated for. Well, I'd say we've 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 really been on the front foot in in 180 minutes for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, and it's just not good enough. And you you can look at that and you can be the most positive fan, but you you can't be watching the recent performances and thinking that everything is well here because something is clearly wrong. We haven't dominated a game and we haven't played. We haven't played. Ve well for so long and I just don't I, I, I don't really count the Dagenham game in there because um, because it was just 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 a freak freak of a game like I don't know apart from that when we played well we seem to be a team that can only play well when when our backs are up against the wall um, I was speaking to George on this I said as soon as the second goal went in I said to George watch the the, the pattern of this season it will be that Knotts will now sit back and will now just soak up the pressure um, and only when Knotts have to do it, when they really have to do it, they do it. And again, it's a, it's a wasted opportunity. Three home games, we needed nine points from these. Already dropped two. Um, I'm just, I just feel deflated after that. I feel like it's the same problems week in week out. We can't put ninety, we can't put forty five minutes of a good performance together. We, recent games we played Weymouth, terrible performance. Two games against Kings Lynn, poor performances. I know, I know. I know there's been there's been some good results, but it's papered over the cracks. The Reeves goal away at Kingsley and papered over the cracks. Um, there, there's real there's issues for Notts, and I think you're going to have to settle for for playoffs at this rate because something's not clicking. The players can't do it. I, I don't I don't quite know what's going on at the minute because the last time I can genuinely say Notts hit full gear on f the absolute maximum they could was all the way back at that first half against Barnet. Right back at the start of the season. That's the last time I can say safely say, unless I'm forgetting something, that we've really, really hit that high gear. We were blowing them away, and, and that's what we're capable of. So there's no excuses. We're capable of that. I know we don't have Carl Roberts, but we have good enough players. On to some positives. Very few. Carl Wharton, again, very, very good. Um, he, we can always rely on him. Where would we be without him? Two headers. He's, he's dominant. He's really good. He won the flick on last minute, which Jake Reeves, I thought... Maybe could have stayed in his feet with. Um, he, he's just he he really is the main man at this club at the minute. Everything goes through him. So Carl Wharton, two more goals, really really good. I don't know why that puts him in the top score list because Michael Sheet scored for Bromley in their loss um, against Sutton um, earlier. Sutton were losing with five minutes to go. Got two goals. They found a way to do it. Um, but you know we, we, we've gained another point. You, you, whichever way you look at it, in my perspective, everyone's different. It's not. It, it's a very, very poor performance, and the outcome actually not as deserved, and probably got lucky to get that point. Uh, we didn't create near enough. They were. They were. They. They were disciplined. They were good. They gave it everything. Um, I'd love to know what you think. I, can, I know what's going to be coming on social media with a few people saying this and that. Um, I'm not in the camp of, of of out at the minute. Definitely not. But. Something has to change. I feel like a broken record. We've been saying it for weeks. Um, we we go on to Saturday now.